Coach, big road win. Just start with an opening statement. Yeah, proud of our team. Um, you know, we talked about what our approach needed to be heading down here uh, against a team that we knew was going to play extremely hard. Uh, they're well coached. Uh, coming off a, a game where they performed um, really well the other night against Gonzaga, and I was worried about the game heading into it uh, without us coming off a bye week, and I just thought our guys um, – Really dug into what the game plan was, um, embraced that, um, and executed uh, pretty well for a full 40 minutes. Seems like the first few minutes of the game, Marcus got the guys rolling. Just talk with, talk about what you saw to him. It, it started with the way you approach the game. Um, he was good yesterday. He was uh, provided a great voice in our in our walkthrough today. Uh, was holding guys accountable. And when he does that, it kind of sets the table for our team. And I said there's no magic formula to play him well. A lot of times it happens way before the game starts. You know, and, and Marcus um, just had a really la last few days been really good um, in terms of what his approach and his energy has been. And it carried over the game, you know, and I thought he really got us off to a good start. Uh, really efficient game, six and nine from the floor, uh, made both his threes distributed the ball and just kind of took what the defense um, gave him. And I thought he really guarded at a high level, uh, which we need, you know, and he's a, a huge, huge piece to what we're trying to do as a team. So I'm um, proud of him. Um, and I know there's more left in the tank. Bounce back game from Chips after the Santa Clara game, 16 points, 6 to 10 from the field. What do you see from him? Yeah, he got back to just being himself, you know, and, and um, when he's playing with confidence, um, he's kind of flying around and playing with an edge. Um, you know, good things happen for our team and for him. And, and bad games happen. Um, he had a bad game last weekend. I'm more concerned about what his uh, response is, and I thought he really responded the right way and got back to what our team needs. So uh, great effort by him uh, tonight for our group. The last few weeks we've talked about Mike shooting the ball well, but three first-half triples, how much does that open your offense as the game goes along? Yeah, he shot it confidently. You know, those, I think they all three were in the same spot on the floor. Um, saw the first one go in um, and, and really uh, provided a, a nice shooting spark for us in, in that first half. But again, I thought he guarded um, at a level that our team needs. You know, he's starting to understand what it means to play hard on that side of the ball. Uh, what his length can provide from a defensive standpoint, we need that. And he played the right way as well in terms of sharing the ball. Uh, I think he finished with, with four assists and, and one turnover. So really good job by our backcourt. Speaking of two points as a team, 38-22 uh, advantage in the paint, 26-6 to six off the bench. Just talk about those areas. Yeah, our depth, um, you know, our depth needs to continue to be the separator for us. Uh, every night it can be somebody different. I thought Vova gave us extremely good minutes tonight. I thought Robbie Beasley really came in the game and affected uh, both sides of the ball, you know, with the way he guarded, uh, with his energy, with his voice, um, similar to what he did in the Pepperdine game. Um, and it was nice to see him step up and, and make some shots. I thought he played uh, great, you know, and, and that's the beauty of our team. You know, any night it can be somebody different. So uh, we'll continue to try to develop our bench and, and use that uh, to our best ability as we come down the stretch. As you often say, you want to play your best basketball towards March. Uh, 19 assists, only eight turnovers. Just talk about that effort. Yeah, played the right way, you know, and, and our percentages were good from a shooting percentage, but a lot of that has to do with the ball as energy. Um, and when you play the right way and move it and share it um, and cut hard, good things happen, you know. And so it was good for us to kind of get back to the team that I know. You know, we're capable of having shooting nights like that, uh, making 13 threes and um, really sharing. And, and so we will continue uh, to address that and, and hopefully make that a calling card as we as we come down the home stretch here. Last question, huge game in Moraga coming up. What's the message over the next 48 hours? Uh, we'll enjoy tonight. Um, you know, our prep, luckily, a couple of our coaches have been in front of it and We'll be ready to go. I'll, I'll probably start preparing on the plane tonight, but we treat it just, it's the next game on our schedule. Um, we did not perform the way that we intend to perform the first time we played them, credit to them. Um, but we'll be ready to go. We'll be ready to compete uh, and be tough on Tuesday night in Moraga. We're looking forward to the challenge.